Mike from BlindsOnline.com here today to talk a little bit about skylight shades. Um, many folks today have skylights in their home, uh, not realizing that the amount of heat that actually passes through that skylight in the summer uh, absorbs a good portion of your air conditioning, and in the winter time, the amount of heat loss uh, going through that skylight. Uh, by purchasing a skylight shade, you can eliminate or insulate that skylight to eliminate that heat loss in the winter and eliminate that uh, loss of air conditioning in the summertime by simply adding a skylight shade. And if you're unsure of whether or not you need a skylight shade, uh, take a little walk up a ladder one day in the middle of the summertime up close to the skylight. Spend about two minutes up there and I'm sure that will convince you. Anyway, what I'd like to do is show you how to measure for a skylight shade if you should decide that you need one in your skylight. Okay, now it's time to measure the skylight for a shade. And the first type of uh, measure we're going to perform is for an inside mounted skylight shade. Uh, we prefer the skylight shades be mounted inside if they can be. Uh, you will need a minimum of three inches worth of depth in order to do that. So if you have the depth in the skylight, then we'd like you to measure the width of the skylight in three places. Uh, the top, which is usually the highest portion, of the skylight. Okay, we'd like to get you to measure the width to the nearest 1 8 inch. We'd like you to measure the width in the center of the skylight. And we'd like you to measure the width at the very bottom of the skylight. Once you have those three measurements, you can provide us with the smallest of those three measurements rounded down to the nearest 1 8 of an inch. Now we're going to measure the height of the skylight. Again, in three places. We'll start at the far left. We'll measure the center and then the far right and provide us with the smallest of those three measurements rounded down to the nearest one eighth of an inch. Now if you can't mount your skylight shade inside the box or you don't have the depth, then you can still mount the shade on the outside of the window frame. In that case, what we'd like to do is for you to take that width measurement and add an additional three inches to that. What that'll do is give you an inch and a half overlap on each side. Again, we'll, get, we'll do the same thing for the height. We'll measure the height and we'll add an additional three inches to the height, which will give you a little bit of an overlap on top and bottom. Uh, that way you can mount your skylight to the outside of the frame. And the next thing you'll do is Choose your options, what type of options you'll, you'll require for the skylight shade. Once you've completed the measuring for your skylight shade, uh, the next thing you'll do is select the options. Uh, one of the options is whether or not you'd like your shade to be light filtering, which means that light will still pass through the shade, but will give you all the insulating value that you need. The second option will be whether or not you'd like your shade to be a blackout shade. A blackout shade means that no light will penetrate the shade whatsoever. Those are typically used in uh, bedrooms, media rooms, uh, that type of scenario. In all other places, uh, I would stick to the light filtering shade because you'll still have your insulating value, but you won't lose all that light that comes into the room and lights up your room. Uh, the only other thing you'll need to, to decide is in order to operate the shade, because it is a manually operated skylight shade, is whether or not you'll require an operator pole. Uh, some folks do have poles hanging around that they choose to uh, operate their skylight shade with. If not, then we would suggest uh, op the operator pole, which is an extension pole. It extends from 6 to 12 feet, so that if the skylight shade is very high, you just need to hook the pole onto the shade and slide it open and close. Very easy to do. Uh, once you have those two things uh, in place, it's just a matter of ordering the shade, and the next thing, of course, would be installing the shade. 